brother this morning talked about how hard it was to love people sometimes. <laughs> and you know, there comes a point where we got to manifest scripture. This is John 1 says, and the word became flesh. Right, we talk about manifestation. I'm, I'm going to give you some teaching today. It's going to feel like a college classroom for a minute, but I promise you, if you can receive this in your spirit, we're going to set the next decade of your life for greatness in Christ. Because I'm telling you, God's about to do some stuff in life. No matter what your given endeavor is, whether you're in nursing, whether you're in entertainment, whether you're in the kingdom, whether you're kingdom or priestly, the revelation says we're established upon the foundation of kings and priests. See, kings use authority in the earth. Priests use authority in the kingdom. So no matter where you're at, we got to go up. No matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, if it's of God and it's in his hands and his hands in it, it's about to blow up. I'm telling you, I want to set the next 10 years. This is one of, this is probably, if I had to say it myself, and I, this is not my flesh, this is what I believe the Holy Spirit said to me, this is probably one of the most important words you're going to receive for the next 10 years. I want to set you up, bless your apostle, I want to set you up for the next 10 years in your life. And I want to show you how God has already set some things in motion for you that are irrevocable, unchangeable, unshakable. No matter how hard hell comes at it, you can't win. So we're going we're gonna to study a little bit today, okay? Stay with me, okay? All right? If your neighbor get weary, pinch him. Nudge him. Let them know we're still in here. Amen? It's all good. And thank you. Thank you, man. Give God an impression. Let me see if I got my picture up here. Listen, if you don't have, if you don't, if you don't have the, um, come on. I'm checking my hands. Let me see if I plug up. Um, check me and make sure that, um, yeah. Come check my hands. Um, check me and make sure that, um, yeah. Come check my hands. Let me see if I got my Picture up here. Uh, if you have the Impact app, the next, today's lesson, and you know it's been a minute since I really posted something in the app for you to go guide you. But this word, you got it. Hey, mother, bless your mama. Um, um, it's in the Impact app under the I Learn resources. So you you have this this you have this in your reach. You can go back and study this because I don't want to give you nothing that the Lord ain't told me. Something that ain't gonna match. Now, now, I want I want I want I want you to do something. Now, this is going to sound a little bit crazy. I'm going to tell you for a minute now. And this is not an egotistical move. Please hear my, hear my heart for you. I need to get your cell phone out. You got a cell phone, get your cell phone. I need you to take a picture. Because I'm going to show you a position that God showed me in the spirit of what we have to look like for the next decade. Okay? Now, unfortunately, I don't have a model, so it's going to have to be me. So I'm about to, I'm about to show you a position. And I give you free reign to get up, walk from your seat, and take a picture because I've got to teach you something today about what God is putting together on your behalf. <laughs> we, ain't got, we ain't got power to yet. Let me check the back of it. Yeah, see if you can get the get the is the core plug in the back one. Double check everything. Make sure the power strips on good without running off the battery on the piece. Okay, so we're gonna try to get the picture up for you, okay? But this morning. Um, in my early morning of preparation, God showed me that this is our spiritual position for the next 10 years. Now hear me closely. Again, let me put this disclaimer on. This isn't an ego moment. This is a moment where I'm trying to depict something for you. But watch this. Here's your position for the next 10 years. On your knees. And I'm going to give you three symbols to deal with. I'm going to give you three things to talk about today. I'm going to talk about three things. On your knees, one hand stretched forward, one hand stretched up, and your mouth wide open. That's it, baby. <coughs> Come on, shoot quickly. Mouth get tired. <laughs> That's it, baby. Can I get it? Hurry up. Come to the front, get the front shot. But, it, but you got to get this position because this is going to be our spiritual position for the next decade. Come on now. Come on, son. 
Is it? Come on. You okay? Come on. Everybody got me. Okay. <laughs> All right. You don't have get somebody's phone number, they're going to text you. All right. Yeah, go to your HDMI. Thank you, sir. They got me. Amen. It's been a minute since we talked, so give us five texts. Our, our technical uh, 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 ineffectiveness at the moment, but we're coming. Um, you may have to put the slide in presentation mode. Is it in, is the PowerPoint? Put it in presentation mode. It'll come up. All right. Now. The reason I want you to depict that for you, you've got this in your app, but you don't have the picture, so I had to do the picture for you. This, this time you're in is about to be so amazing for your life. But listen, it's only going to be received by faith. you got to believe now, because I'm about to put some stuff on you that's going to mess with your mind a little bit. But I'm telling you, no matter what you're giving in devil, whatever you have put your hands to, God has a purpose to prosper over this next decade. Now, I'm going to talk through some things very, very quickly. Thank you. Bless the Lord. Thank God for our team. Amen. Give him a hand of praise. Come on. Give God a hand of praise. Him. Amen. Bless God for him. All right. So, so let's, let's rock and roll for a minute. Um, let me see if I can get the way I can, where I can, I can advance here. Okay. So, so, so we're going to talk about, watch this. I want you to understand the culmination and the spiritual timing of not only this year, but the decade. This decade was the kingdom transition. We're about to move into some things. Now, last year, for the, uh, let, me, uh, pop, pop, let me thank Apostle for being here. Apostle Ryan, amen, his wife, amen. Thank God, let's give God a hand of praise for them. Uh, he's, a, he's a new brother in ministry. We just met, my brother introduced us, and, and we didn't know we, we, we've been more connected than we can ever imagine. Um, but, but can I teach today just for a minute? Will y'all rock with me just for a minute? Go ahead, sir. Amen? amen? Okay, so watch this, watch this. January 1st is about to be a new month, a new, new year, and a new decade in the kingdom. It's a, you, watch this. Next week is your next week, your next month, your next year, and your next decade right. in All the right. same space. All in the same space. But that don't, that don't happen often. No, sir. And if you notice, even in the natural, who you were in your 20s is not who you were in your 30s as opposed to your 40s, your 50s, and your 60s. No, sir. These decades mean something. These decades mean something. So let me pray. Father, now I ask you now that you bring our spirits into a precise hearing from you. Father God, I thank you now that, that you and I have a covenant that if I open my mouth, you're going to speak. So we ask you to speak now to the hearts, minds, and souls of spirit to be people that we may thereby be changed and we might not ever, ever be, ever be the same. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so so give the Lord a big hand of praise real quick. I'm trying to get my spirit set up and I feel like running already. I'm trying to settle myself so I can teach this for a minute. Okay, 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 okay. Now, um, one of the things that you know I've taught you is that God moves prophetically, even as even sometimes when our understanding in the earth doesn't quite grab hold. God still moves whether you understand it or not. That's correct. All right? Our understanding of it does not prevent the move of God. That's right. There's one thing we were talking about with a couple of our elder candidates yesterday is that the providence of God is set. He is providential. He, he is a God that can do whatever he want to do. If you don't believe me, call Brother Job as a reference. When Job began to question, why do the wicked prosper? The Lord said, the Lord God, Yahweh, Je Jehovah said to him, listen, where were you when I created the world? That's right. Where were you when I gave the zebra its stripe and the gazelle its leap? Where were you when I made the ant and the aardvark? Where were you? In other words, there are some things in the earthly realm that no matter what your opinion of, you don't get to touch. That's right. That's right. You don't get to touch them because they're, they're confined to the providence of God. Amen. Remember, there's a few things that I've that I taught you and I tell you about all the time that are key to your understanding. And the providence of God is one. Some things just have to happen. It got to. They're going to be unavoidable. You can't get around them. It's a part of your making. Right. And what you've got to understand is part of your breaking is part of your development. So some of the things you thought were the worst things that ever happened to you were the best things that ever happened to you for your development. Okay? I was, talk I was talking to a sister at the gym. Uh, um, um, we were sitting there talking about five or six of us in a conversation. And she was saying, basically, listen, I, I know I can be hard. I came from the streets. Anybody come from the streets? Listen, she, she said, I came from the streets and I was a fighter. And, but I've been asking Lord to take that out of me and the Holy Spirit arrested me very, very said, hold up, sis. What you talking about? Why you want God to take your fight? You need that. He don't want 
want to take your fight. He wants to redirect your energies in your fight. He wants to get you fighting for the right thing. You don't understand. You're going to miss your whole gift of intercession giving away your fight. Come on, sir. Because intercessors can't be weak. No, intercessors can't be scared of the devil. Intercessors can't be scared of demons. Intercessors. Come on, sir. How you going to stand in the gap between heaven and earth and you scared of demons? You can't do that. Let, let the casual folk who just want to run through church go do the, 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 the light stuff. You're going to do the heavy lifting. And we need you to be able to fight. You got to understand, even the worst things that happen in your life are part of your divine design under God's providence and his sovereignty. So watch this. If you did not learn how to fight when you were young, you wouldn't have survived to be able to fight now in the kingdom in your age. Amen. Amen. So some of the things you thought were going to break you are what actually has strengthened you if you can get your eyes off of the wound. Come on, somebody. You got to make the wound work for you. Come on, son. Okay, okay. Let me get moving. Because I'm like, oh, I feel like preaching it. I got to teach myself. <laughs> okay. So, let's work for a little bit. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you through some things. Let's go to Exodus 4 chapter. Get your Bibles. Go to Exodus 4. Now, you've got, again, once again, you've got all these slides in the app. So, you're going to be able to go back and study this later. Okay. And I say study. Study. Got some homework. Got some homework. You're going to study this later because you're not going to get it all in this session. And what's going to happen is, I'm just giving you introductory and cursory today, but we got to dig down into most of this. All right? So excuse me if I'm, if my spirit is running. I'm sorry. I'm just leaving this. <laughs> We're going to Exodus 4 chapter, right? Did I tell you that, Exodus 4? Yes. So y'all, forgive my appearance if I'm sweating. Thank God for our Facebook family and all who are on my social media. We praise God for you. We thank God for you being with us today. You have tuned in to a wonderful day in your life. Mm. Amen. All right, so let's look at this context. I want to look at Exodus 1 through 9. When we see in Exodus 1 through 9, it is, is, the, is the call of Moses. Um, and I want, to, I want to go and read just a little bit. Because um, if you remember last year, I asked you four questions. What were the four questions we started last year out with? Come on now, I'm going back on you now. First of all, what's in your hand, right? Amen, y'all remember that question? What's in your hand? What's God's plan for it, right? All right? Are you going to activate it? And what's going to be the manifestation of it? Now, can I tell you last year, as we talked about 57 and 79, I'm going to cover this sermon and teach you today, too. Last year was what year for us? It was the year of God revealing the snakes in the grass. Remember? He was going to reveal the snakes in the grass on one side, but on the other side, he's going to reveal wisdom to the kingdom, right? So God was going to teach us how to handle things in our lives, not to be so reactive, but to be disciplined in how we execute things. Amen? Don't let folk just get to your emotions and cause you to act stupid, but think it out by the Spirit and move with the word and with the execution. So no matter what you're doing, God is going to get the glory out of it. Amen? Amen. So remember we talked about it. what's in your hand, what's God's plan for it, will you activate it, what will be the manifestation? Okay, so if 5779 was our year of gaining wisdom, then 5780 has got to be our year of manifestation. This is going to be the year where you've got to really apply what you learned from last year. Amen. 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 <laughs> Listen, I told you a few weeks ago, if you were deceived last year, you got to own your part in the deception. <laughs> maybe you didn't discern. Maybe you didn't pray. Maybe you didn't. Maybe God sent you signs and you ignored them. But if you went through anything that caused you to go through deception, you got to go back and look and say, what were the signs before I got to the place where the deception and the plot was carried out? Because you saw signs, but you didn't execute, execute wisdom and how to handle them. Come on, somebody. So last year, watch this, was a year of maturing for us, and this year's got to be your manifestation. We got to take everything we learned from the last season and apply it to this one. And God was really setting you up, watch this, Closing out the decade of the 70s and bringing you into the decade of the 80s. I'm talking Jewish time now. That's correct. He was bringing you from the 2010s, Gregorian, to the 2020s. That's correct. Jesus. So watch this. So 2020, as we talked about, it, it's a year of vision, clarity of vision. So right now, you got to make sure, watch this, that you learn from all that crap. All right. So you can have it clean in this year. Amen. Amen. Come on now. You, you done learned a lesson in all that stuff you was in. All that foolishness. You, you know it didn't pay off. Okay. Y'all, okay, we're going to be sanctified today. We're going to talk for a 
Watch this. It, it, it didn't pay off. Some of that stuff we did didn't pay off. We went into business with the wrong people. We came to the ministry to the wrong folks. We took the wrong actions. We found the wrong folks in covenant with us. We found the wrong folks in our beds. Come on, son. Come on, son. Come on, son. Come on, son. All right. I'm going to be good. I promise you. We were reading Exodus 4. Look at verse 2. Exodus 4. Verse 2. We read Exodus 4. I got to test you. And the Lord said to him, watch this. Exodus 4 and verse 2. What is that? In thine hand. Uh -huh. And Moses clearly identified it as a rod. Mm -hmm. But he didn't know the potential of it. That's yeah, right. man. Mm -hmm. He knew it was a rod, but he didn't know what it could do that's right. until the power moved on it. Yeah. Wow. And that's what's going to happen in these next 10 years. You're going to see the power move on what you can do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, I don't care what mountain you're functioning in, whether you're an educator, whether you're a governor, whether you're an architect, you're going to see some increase. That's correct. Right. Yeah. Because the power is about to move on your potential. Amen. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Drop down to verse 10 for me. Drop down to verse 10. I'm going to get to the context real quick. Make a note of this. Keep this. It's on the slide so you'll have it in your teaching. Watch this. And Moses said unto the Lord, Oh Lord, watch this. He's, he's finding all the reasons why not. Everybody say why not. Why not? You got to quit finding why not. Yeah. Yeah. We got to start pressing the why I can. Yes, sir. I mean, you ain't that tired. Come on, Come on. Come on. Mm, Say that again, now. You ain't hurt that much. That's right. Mm. It ain't that deep. Yeah, it ain't that bad, sir. Come on. Come on. Yes, sir. That's real. We got to deal with these degrees. Mm. Most of the time, watch this, and this is why we got to watch our mouths in this season. Oh, we speak in absolutes when there's still opportunity. Yeah. 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 Mm. Hear me, people of God. We speak in absolutes when there's still opportunity. That's correct. Ooh. It may not be on the stage you thought it was going to be on, but by God, actualize, manifest. Jesus. It may be a different place, a different location with different folks. But let it, but show up, baby, show up. Show up. It may not be the connection you thought it was going to be, but show up. It may have come to you in an unlikely box that you didn't even realize you thought you you envision him looking like this, but no, he looks like this, and this is what's really good for you. Because what you saw was really through your lust. It yeah. was through the word. Amen. 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 Come on, sir. Hey. Okay, okay, okay. Let me, let me, I'm, I'm trying to not to preach. I got a lot of teaching. But watch this. Watch this. He says, I'm not eloquent. And, 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 and here too, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am slow of speech. And I'm a slow tongue. Uh -huh. You see, I can't articulate. I, can't do I ain't got no diction. I don't preach well enough. That's it. That's it. They ain't gonna hear me because I don't use correct subject in word agreement. Yes, sir. Mm. Come on, sir. I got a stutter. Come on. Jesus. Come on. What's your excuse? Uh -huh. Jesus. Well, I ain't got no degree. Uh -huh. I ain't been to college like you. Oh. I ain't got no education. I didn't know my daddy. Uh, uh, my mama uh, wasn't no good. Come on, man. Don't you know my family name? Uh -huh. Jesus. Mm. Come on, I ain't come from nothing. Come on, oh, well, you said that bitch, you can't be something. I mean, my God, if you're just a little step better than what you came from, you're doing better. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. God, help me, Holy Ghost. Center of my spirit, Lord. Don't let me keep running. Woo! Jesus, I feel like preaching now. Watch this, watch this. Then Moses said unto him, I'm sorry, verse 11. Then the Lord said unto Moses, yes, sir. You, ever, you ever been in a conversation with God, and God just slapped you upside your head with something? You'd be like, man, God, 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 why you be like that? Why you be born like that? Come on, we're supposed to be cool. Yes, sir. I thought you was going to be, listen, I thought you was going to cry with me. My, 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 my. You're talking about, no, get up. <laughs> get yourself together. Yeah, I'm sorry. You've been in set confidence for too long. Yes, sir. Well, Lord, I want you to cry with me. I ain't crying no, no, with you. No, get no. up. I, I, I see your tears, but you don't know my power in you yet. Yes, sir. You don't know you got the power in you to overcome this. You don't know you got the power to win. You don't know you got, the, you got victory that I've already died for for you. You, 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 you crying, I'm still trying to call you up out of your misery. Wow. Wow. Okay. Help me, Holy Ghost. Help me, Holy Ghost. Okay, okay. Okay, okay let me this. Oh, God. I just feel like preaching. I got to teach. I got to teach. So watch this. What did I do? Okay, 
Okay, I'll, 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 yeah, okay I'm, I'm still in, I'm still in, in Exodus. Yes, right. So watch this. So, so he said, so the Lord then said to him, watch this. Now, now he, he had already dealt with them on the rod. If I say rod, rod. that's the power and authority. <laughs> but now he's on them with the mouth. Watch this, because that's what we're going to talk about. It's your mouth. Amen. Part of the picture. Come on, sir. But if you don't get your mouth right, your uh, manifestation ain't going to never be right. No, sir. Wow. Working on the mouth, right. man. That's it. You, you got the talk billionaire with no yeah. money in your pocket. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Come on, sir. Come on, sir. You got a talk billionaire yes, sir. with no money in your pocket. Yes, sir. You got a talk sign before the contract's ever written. That's yes, God. Hear me clearly. You got to talk sign before the contracts ever written. Mm. 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 Come on, sir. Thank you, sir. Because what you're speaking is what's going to manifest. That's right. And you keep talking about, man, I'm still looking for my break. Mm. Guess what you're going to be the rest of your life? Look, look, looking for your me. break. <laughs> no, I'm in the right place at the right time with yes. the right people and the right yeah. resources for what God needs to do right now. Now, my next I'm about to come into and I'll be in the right place at the right time with the right people and the right resources and the right hearts. The contract may not be here today, but I'm talking like it's here today so I can see it in my tomorrow. Yes, sir. Come on, sir. He says, he says, who has made man's mouth? Who made it the dumb and the deaf? Or the seeing or the blind? Have not I the one? Watch this. Watch this. He says, now therefore, if I say this big word with me, go. No, 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 no. That means you can do something, baby. Hey. Look, you can't go stand and steal. I saw a post the other day, a brother posted on that. It was Tyrone Webster. He said, watch this. He said, it may be coming slow. Okay. My Lord. But stop it. Don't get it here no more. No, 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 no. No. Yes, sir. Listen to me. It may be coming slow. Yes, sir. But stopping is not an option. That's right. Because stopping says it ain't never coming. That's right. Slow may mean it may not get here when I want to, but it's going to get here. Yes. And this I'm moving. Yes. I got it. Don't quit school. Just take it down to one class. Right. Right. Come on, sir. I don't know who that's for, but I hear it. Mm. Don't quit school. Just take it down to one class. Adjust it, then go back to a full level. Oh, but don't stop it. Don't stop, sir. <laughs> At least you're still moving. Okay. okay. I ain't to the teaching yet. I'm still in the scriptures. Hold on. What is word eating me up right now? He says, watch this. He says, now therefore go, watch this, and I will be with thy Y'all read with me? He says, I'm, I'm going to be with your feet. He says, I'm going to be with your mouth. And I'm going to teach you what you shall say. Now the text goes on to talk about how he gives him air and as a mouthpiece. That's correct. Watch this. So watch this. And he says, not only am I going to be with your mouth, but I'm going to be with Aaron's mouth. Right. Here's the danger of your covenants for the next 10 years. Make sure that whatever's with you got the same mouth. Yes, sir. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Wow. That's it, and when you hear the secret whispers in your spirit, yes, sir. call it out. That's it. Don't wait because you didn't hear it with your natural ear. Wow. Come on, sir. If you get in your spirit that they ain't speaking what I'm speaking, oh, call it to the surface. Hey, wait a minute. Come here. Are we on the same page? Do we see the vision the same way? Are we talking the same language? Because the Lord said, I'm going to be with your mouth to teach you, but I'm going to give you Aaron. And not only am I going to be with your mouth, but I'm going to be with his mouth. Don't have promoters promote you when they promote you with the right mouth. Don't have representatives represent you and they don't have the right mouth. Matter of fact, for a season, shut everybody down and you do the talking. That's right. Come on, man. That's what he's doing. Okay. Let's move. Okay, now let's get into some teaching for a second. All right, so let's talk about this. I'm going to use some symbols and stuff to help us understand stuff. It's in your app. It's on your page. You can go back and look at it. Okay, so this symbol is called the Yod, Y-O-D. It symbolizes number 10. Okay, so I just told you we're going to a new decade, right? So the next 10 years are going to be affected prophetically 
by the spirit of Yod. Watch this what Yod means. Yod, Yod, or Yod, uh, it means, watch this, the arm or the hand. Yes, sir. It's the arm or the hand. It's symbolized by the number of tears. So every decade, watch this, something shifts in your life. That's right. You're not, you're not the same person you were. Well, let me say this. I pray that you are not the same teenager that you were and you're 50 now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Watch out, sir. Some of you stop saying a brick house. Yes, you know, make an old man wish for younger days. <laughs> you don't need them younger days. Them younger days were foolish. And if you got any wisdom about you, if you look back, you can see that you did some stupid stuff. Yes. Come on, sir. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so yod means arm or hand. Now we're gonna tie it all together. So you gotta walk with me for a minute, okay? So stay with me. So the pictogram in the Jewish is represented by an outstretched hand. Remember the position I put you in. Remember? Yes. Right. Here's your yod position. Your outstretched hand. Watch this. So what the outstretched hand does for you, watch this, is the outstretched hand means, watch this, and the number 10 means completion. It means completion. And it's represented by what's called the yod. And the yod actually means a dot. Now, if you read your Bible, Matthew 5 and 18 says, watch this, that God is so concerned about the details of his manifested word that he said that heaven or earth will pass away, watch this, before one jot or one tittle falls to the ground or passes away. That's correct. The jot is the yod, it's the dot. It means God is so concerned about the details of your life so he's going to make sure that everything in your life is working to manifest what he professed That's over your life. That's correct, sir. And he says, I'm not going to, listen, not for your sake, but for my word's sake. I will let heaven and earth disappear before I don't keep my word to you. Amen. 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 So watch this. Even when you don't believe it, God's still committed to it. Amen. Right. Here we clearly. Even when you don't believe it, God is committed to it. But here's the caveat. Until you put your faith into it, it can't manifest in the earth. Right. Jesus. Ephesians 1 says this, that he has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. Right. And Paul goes on, she said, this was done before the foundations of the world. So that means that everything I am, everything I hope to be, and everything I hope to possess has already been given to me. Right. But I've got to watch this, learn the kingdom keys to manifesting it. And one of the major keys is faith. And if I don't activate my faith, I can't see nothing that God has promised me. But he's still committed to it. He's committed to a work that half of us won't believe him for. You mean to tell me God is committed to giving you the riches of life, the blessings of life, and the true riches being spiritual insight, and because you won't believe him for it, you can't manifest it. We got to get faith, y'all. Everybody just never said faith. Come on, faith is a key. Faith is a key. So watch this. It's the arm and the hand. And Matthew 5 says, watch this. You got to deal with the, the with the jocks of your hand, of your life. Watch this. Now watch this. Now we talked about 57, 8, so I just talked about the decades. So now let's talk about the year we're in. We're about to move. Watch this. We're going to talk the Jewish year first and then the Gregorian year. Okay, so y'all just stay with me just a few more minutes and I'm almost done. The Jewish decade we're about to get into is 5780. As a matter of fact, we entered into it on um, on September 29th of this year. 29th, uh, 30th of 29th, whatever last day. It was the 30th of 29th. Okay, the last day we moved from September to October, we actually celebrated Rosh Hashanah. We celebrated the coming of a new decade, 5780. And I've already been teaching you that it's what? The year of the mouth, right? I've been telling you, watch your mouth. Set a guard over your mouth. Because what you say right now is going to manifest like never before. Even watch this. Even the even the conversations in your home. Watch your mouth. Because when we dig deeper, I'm gonna show you. Watch this. That these symbols, some of these symbols, that I remember exactly which one is. But it means watch this. It deals with your house and your public also. So what you got going on in your house 
in conversation manifests in your public. That's why some folk, when they get around you, they don't know how to act. Right, all right. Because they've been talking secretly at home. That's correct. So when they get in your presence, watch this, their soul is uncomfortable. That's correct. You're like, why are they acting different than me? I ain't done that to them. It's because what they've been talking about in the house is now manifesting in their public life, and they can't be in your presence without their own words coming back to haunt them. That's correct. That's good. That's good. No. 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 <laughs> the Jewish decade we're about to enter is 57 80. Watch this. It's represented by the letter pay or fay. And, it's, and the symbol is a mouth. Watch this. Your mouth. If I say my mouth. Wow. And we notice in our context that the Lord said to Moses, Moses, I'm not going to be with your feet. I'm going to be with your mouth. Now, now, prayer for the pastor Leslie and I have been talking about this. We're going to start talking in the new year about body connections. Because what you got to understand is your mouth is connected to a lot. That's right. That's right. Your heart. That's correct. What's in the heart? Out of the heart flow the issues of life. So, so if I sit in your company long enough and we chit chat, I'm going to see what's in your heart. Your mouth is connected to a lot. In this instance, your his mouth is connected to his hands. That's correct. Because he's gonna give him the words to speak, but he's gonna activate the rod in his hand. That's correct. Your That's mouth good. is connected to your feet. I'm gonna go over here. That's it. <laughs> your mouth is connected to your thought life. That's right. Slip of the tongue. Yeah. That's it. Come on, James. You remember that song? <laughs> Slip of the tongue. Yeah. When you say. You know, in psychology, we call it a Freudian slip. When you say what's really in your spirit, but you really didn't intend to say it, right. and it just blue, 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 yeah. before you know, be like, God, why I say that in front of you? Why I say that part in front of us? Probably because you've been talking about it when you weren't with them, right. and you got to that normal flow of conversation, and your soul didn't censor. That's right. I always wonder when folks say somebody was talking about you, what they say. <laughs> I mean, because if they said this, then what did they say to them? <laughs> I mean, really, would you really, really be in a conversation with somebody and you you just laying out all this sauce and all this dirt and they just said, mm, 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 girl, no, mm, ah, girl, no, mm, what? Mm, you'll stop talking after a minute. Because you realize you ain't getting no meat for your sauce. Okay, I'm coming, back. I'm coming back to church. I'm coming back to church. I'm coming back to church. But your mouth! Your mouth! You got to be careful. He said, I'm going to put your mouth. So watch this. So your mouth is going to make a difference in this season. What you're speaking is going to make a difference. Your mouth is a manifestation. You can have all the thoughts you want to have, but if you can't communicate it, it ain't going to never manifest. Come here, Becky, too. Write the vision and make it plain. If you can't get what's in you outside, how somebody gonna run with you? Amen. How they gonna know where you're going if you ain't getting no road signs? Come on, sir. What? Watch this. I, I, musicians and psalmists, what does it mean to be the best? What, what does that mean? I'm a, I just wanna be the best. What does that mean? <laughs> By what standard do you judge the best? Mm. And is the best in rock and roll the best in jazz? <laughs> Let me keep moving. Stay with me. Y'all got quiet. I'm talking about y'all friends. Okay. All right, all right. So, pay or fail, watch this. It deals with the mouth or manifestation. Now, remember last year, the last decade, we're talking decades now. The last decade was about the revelation of how everything concerned your eye. Because 70 represents the eye or revelation. So, all, so, so watch this. The last 10 years of your life have been for your learning. But the next 10 are going to be for your doing. Some stuff going to show up. Some manifestations going to show up. Some big stages are going to be ours. Oh, God. Some, some, break, some big business deals.
is a reality. You're about to manifest some bigger things in your life right now. Some of the things you've been hoping for, he's giving you the wisdom to see them come to pass now. Some good stuff. Listen, can I tell you this? You're already healed. You're already healed. It's about to manifest now. You're going to find yourself not getting pissed off with folk like you used to. Right. It just ain't going to matter like you used to. You just ain't going to be mad like, okay, man, you good. Hey, you, you take, take that with you. You good. Take, and I know where I'm standing. You good. If I know where I'm standing, I ain't got to worry about how you slipping. Come on, somebody. If I know where I'm standing, I ain't got to worry about you slipping. You can slip, trip, and fall. I'm still good because I'm standing. I know where I'm at. I'm in my manifestation. Yes, sir. Oh, Jesus. Come on, Okay, 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 okay. So the mouth. The mouth. Remember, 5779 was your eye and revelation, but 5789 is going to be your mouth. You're going to begin to activate on what you saw. Remember now, Moses in, in Exodus 3 and 4, he had to get the call before he could execute the commission. That's correct. Wow. You got to get the call before you execute the commission. In other words, if you ain't spent no time with God on what he really wants, Come on, sir. then everything you're trying to manifest may be null and void. That's mm. correct. Because you try, watch this, you trying to go a place he never sent you, be a thing he never designed you to be, and activate stuff he never placed in you. If it ain't in you, it ain't yours, and it ain't ordained for you, you can try with all your might, and you're going to be doing a running man in the same place. It ain't going to matter. It ain't going to matter. I'm going to be funny for a minute. I'm going to be messy. I'm going to be messy for a minute. I'm going to be messy for a minute. <laughs> let me see if I can get a better example for somebody that knows that fella. I have a friend, let me tell you this story. I have a friend who said his mama could cook real good. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. I'm waiting on a meal, y'all. I'm putting it out there first. I'm waiting on a meal, y'all. I'm going to get some cage. Some what? What? Cage? What kind of food was it? Gullah. Some gullah. I'm going to get some gullah. Y'all know what gullah is? He'll be glad to explain that. <laughs> I'm going to get me some gullah. That's some of that cooking from up there in South Carolina, North Carolina, that Geechee country. That, ge that gutchy, ge giddy gullah, gullah Geechee, whatever they call it. But I was waiting to get me some. I'm still waiting. I'm going to get me some. Watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. I had a friend who said, who said his mama could cook. She could show enough cook. She could burn. I sit down at the table, eat some of her cooking, and I couldn't hardly swallow. <laughs> and I thought to myself, hey, bro, this food only good because you've been eating this nasty stuff all day. Oh, no. So let me ask you this question. What's nasty you've been eating all your life and it really ain't good? You just adjusted yourself down to that level. What's, what, what if you adjusted yourself down to it? Quit. Oh, God, I don't know why I'm on my artist today so much, but y'all got to quit dumbing y'all selves down to feel. Your uniqueness is your gift. Don't, 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 don't dumb yourselves down, people of God. You're supposed to be exceptional. Don't dumb yourselves down, y'all. I don't know why I feel that right now, but I feel the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, don't dumb yourselves down. Don't come down to the level to fit in with them. No, sir. Mr. Gig if it means being mediocre. Miss the gig if it means you being mediocre. That's it. That's good. What you want with gonna spill over into your life. Yeah. Amen. Your mouth, revelation. So the revelation of 5779 is gonna be your activation in 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 in, in, in 5780. Now watch this. Let's talk from the Gregorius perspective 2020. Y'all up? Y'all good? If you if you if you tie, stand up, stand up and stretch. Y'all okay? Yes, so now we're gonna talk 2020, because that's what most of the world gonna look at and understand. They're not gonna talk Jewish. They're gonna talk 2020. So let's talk about 2020 for a minute. Now 2020 is represented by a, um, a letter that's I mean by a symbol that's called CAF. K A F. <laughs> <laughs> now let me tell y'all something. I almost woke up my whole house when I got this. Because when we listen, when God established us as Impact Christian Church, a Kingdom Agenda Fellowship, ICC CAF. Come on, son. When He established us as that, I didn't have this revelation. But now that the revelation has come to my life, Ooh. we got to breathe on this thing again. We 
got to push to the next level now. I can't back up. I can't stop. I got to push a little further. Because now I understand what calf really means. I know he's put a whole lot in my hands to handle. And it's got to manifest. Because watch this. Because what's in my cup has got to be given to the world. And what's in your cup? Come on, come on. Cup your hands. 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 Cup your hands.
your hands, your palm of your hands. Watch this. Oh, Jesus. The, the, oh, God. Oh, God. The Jewish tetragram or the Jewish, the Jewish um, 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 formation of the letter for this, this calf. Watch this. It's the pictogram of the hands. Watch this. But what the letter actually means, watch this, is it's made up of two different levels. It's at the, notice the 20 is made up of two tens. That's double. Yes, sir. Watch this. It means potential to actualization. That's what the actual Jewish letters mean. It means, watch this, that my potential has got to be actualized. Sir. I let, watch this. Here, here it is. Here, here's how you know when you've been in your gift and your gift working for you. When you don't say who you are, but a fame goes out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A fame goes out. A word goes out among others that, hey, you need to pay attention to that right there. Watch, watch this right here. Oh, you need, you need a vocalist? Call this one over here. Oh, you need a musician? Oh, get this one right here. Oh, here it is. You walk, you walk through Dollar Tree. I remember my child almost didn't graduate, but, but you helped him. Oh, yeah. my, my child almost didn't make it, but because a, a fame has gone out. Yeah. A, a, a story of your reputation has gone out because, because you're not just saying who you yes, are. Sir. But you're being who you are and they are saying who you are. This is about your being. This is where, watch this, we ain't got to shout about who we are. You ain't got to lift your name up. You lift up the name of Jesus hey, and the world will know yeah, that the yeah. sons of God have manifested. Yeah. 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 Manifestation. Yeah. He says, I want the palm of your hand, your potential, everything that is potentially yours. And we name some very important things for your hands. We want to see that. Watch this with our natural eye now. I just want to see your anointing. I want to see somebody get free. That's right, son. I just want to see you with a whole bunch of power in your hands. I want to see somebody wearing your stuff. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to see somebody watch this, watch this sleeping in beds you built. Yes, sir. Wearing shoes you manufactured. Yes, Looking at plays you acted in and you broke. Yes, Singing songs that you scripted. Yes, Humming the lyrics that you wrote. Yes, sir. Not just potential. I'm sick of the graveyard. It's so full of potential. But where's the manifestation? I got to hurry to a close. Y'all okay? The palm in here. Watch this. So here's what we got. The biblical numerology. Watch this. From these three numbers. From the yod. From the yod. The pay and the fate. And the cough. We have. Watch this. The year of completion. So we're going to see some things really manifest this next decade. We got 10 years. These next 10 years are about to be amazing for us. You're going to open your businesses. You're going to do your services. You're going to do those things. This 10 years is about to be some manufactured vision. It's yes, about to come. It, come on, sir. It's real, y'all. Yes, sir. And you got to taste it before you see it. That's right. Ah, oh, Jesus. Mama. Now, watch this. Watch this. There's two ways you taste. You can taste it. Because you tasted it before, but you can also taste in anticipation of how good it's going to be. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. What is that, man? Come on. <laughs> you, 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 it's so close, you can smell it. And it's so good, you can taste it. That's why, that's why you feel an anticipation in your spirit. Because you're right on the cusp of something great. <laughs> Oh, I hear this now. I hear that. Don't, don't think I'm tripping. I ain't trying to keep coming. Make your moves, make your moves in the shadows. Yes, sir. Quit shouting so much. Make yes, your moves in the shadows. Yes, Just let them wonder where you came from. Yes, Just let them wonder how it happened. You ain't got to. Listen, 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 listen. Come from billboards to bend the knees. Come on, sir. Come from billboards to bend the knees. I hear you, Lord. Come from billboards to bend the knees. You ain't got to promote yourself. Just bend your knees and do what, you, what God say do. That's they will call you. That's it, God. Your press package ain't that good. Okay. It's the anointing that's working for you. Come on, somebody. So watch this. So, so year 10 is completion. 17 is overcoming the enemy. Yes, sir. 
That's it. So all the wisdom, watch this, that we learn from 57, 70, all the snakes, all the deceptions, all the things that happen, you overcome it. That's right. It's done. As a matter of fact, can I tell you this? You're already healed if you just receive it. That's right. It really ain't bothering you like it used to. Hallelujah. It ain't bothering you like it used to. But don't become comfortable in your pain. Amen. You gotta fight to get free. Now watch this. Now cat also means number 20. It means completion of a waiting period. That's correct. It means I've waited long enough. That's good. Ah. Yes, sir, man. So 2020, it's got to happen. Because I've waited long, long enough. enough. Yeah. Oh! Yes, sir. 2020, I gotta see some things because I've waited long, long enough. 2020, he got to be a better man. She got to be a better woman because I've waited long enough. It's got to happen because I'm, I'm God. I need you to manifest because I've waited long enough. It's been long enough. Long enough. You've been working. You've been training. You've been learning. Now we got to see that wisdom activated. It has been long enough. Okay, I'm almost done. So what we have, the conclusion of the matter is this. This is what we're looking like. So we're looking like the next 10 years are going to be a decade of completion. That's it, babe. You're not going to keep putting your hands on stuff and not working until the end. Yeah, that's it. As a matter of fact, that. I pray that the Lord not allow you to put your hand on anything that yeah, you're not going to complete. We need to see completion of some things. Yeah. Now, completion is different from maintenance. Completion may be in the attaining, but you may still have to maintain it after the fact. Right. Amen. Amen. It's called stewardship. Yes, sir. We're going to see some completion of some things. Yes, Pay and faith means the manifest, manifestation in the year of your mouth. That's it. And calf means the actualization of your potential. Cool. It's got to come to pass. Put, put lay hands on your chest. It's, it's coming to pass. It's got to come 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 to pass. Somebody get on keys for me. Watch this. So stick with this teaching with me. We're going to dig down in a little bit more. We're going to dig down to the more. I got some more to share with you. But that's enough for today. <laughs> Go back one slide. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. It's my baby trying to get it. Like, praise God. Yeah. No, my children make me say, go back. Boy, that, that make you feel good when your children say, go back, baby. Go back and fix it. What? Did I fix it? Uh oh, I'm trying to go back one slide. But you got it in the impact app. See? It's not all on there? Am I missing something? Okay, let me double check. Listen, I'll get it corrected. It's the backspace. That the backspace? I can't get it to move. Somebody come here for me. Somebody come here. Let's get married. Somebody get it back for me. Okay, so I'm missing something. Because I was, y'all know me. It's terrible. I said it, I prepare. But sometimes I, I be kind of like. It's not all the slides. Okay, I'm missing some things. But, but we'll, listen, I'll get it updated. I'll get it updated and I'll make sure. It's all right. Thank you. So watch this. Watch this. Everybody say 10 years. 10 years. The next 10 years of your life might be amazing. Yes. Now, Lord. And I pray the grace of God. The grace of God manifest on your life like never before. Grace for your business. Grace for your entrepreneurial pursuits. Yes. Yes. Grace for your education. Yes. Grace, for, grace for your giving endeavors. Grace for healing of your life. Yes, God. Grace. Grace. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. I'm determined this year, I'm going to have my own business. Amen. I'm going to have my own business. Amen. Yes, Lord. My wife and I are going to have our own. Amen. You know, you know, you know something to help us? Watch this. Watch this. And, and let me tell you this. Find specialists that can do what you don't know how to do. Amen. Let's just be real. I'm, I'm, I just need to have a moment just for a minute. But I'm on my own business. Amen. I'm working last night. Me and my cousin are working on my books. I'm going to get some books out there. We got some stuff coming up on fasting. I'm going to my day fast. We're going to fast in January. We'll get that out to you next Sunday. Yes, we're going we're gonna to fast. We, 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 listen, you got to actualize now, y'all. We got we got something got to happen. That's right. Listen, 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 listen. Don't, don't, listen. Oh, now, hear me now. Don't build another house, buy another car, buy another suit until you get the virtue right. Because if you get the virtue right, you'll have a victory properly. But the problem is, you try to walk in the victory without the virtue, we keep losing everything we get. That's right. Okay, so let's get the virtue right so that the victory can be long lasting. All right? Man, I love y'all. I love y'all.
I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it. Preferably, you know, if, you, if, if you'll just go share this to your Facebook page, let's share it with our families. Our families have to come up. We have to come up. All of us have to come up. Put some, put some before you say get, get some, get a goal out there. Amen. All right. All right. All right. I love you. I love you. I think, I think I'm, I think I'm through. I think I'm through. Father, in the name of Jesus, we, we magnify you now for these who have received your word. We pray now, Father God, a hedge of protection around them that anyone won't come and his search snatches from them, but it will sink into them deeply. And even, Lord God, as you made provision for Moses, you put a rod in his hand. He not only was with his mouth, but he was laid with Aaron's mouth. We pray, Lord God, that, that what you've given them to do by their hands will be solidified by you and their spirits. And that you would surround them with the right, the right mouths around them, the right mouths, the right people around them to keep speaking them and pushing them toward their destiny. We believe you now, God, that every time you make an apostolic move in our lives like this, it is going to require change. So I ask you, God, to change us. Help us to embrace what you placed before us so that we can manifest your glory by your grace. In Jesus' name, amen.